Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Mr. Elf takes a holiday. Food delivery! Ah, thank goodness. Breakfast at last. Yes, sorry, I'm running a bit late today. I have a splendid king's breakfast for you, though. Egg and baked beans. Egg and beans? But today is Tuesday. We have muffins on Tuesday. Tuesday already? What happened to Monday? That was yesterday. Was it? You've been working too hard, Mr Elf. No, no, no. I'm fine. You need a holiday. Yay! A holiday! And you can come too, Holly. Ooh, can I, Daddy? Yes, of course, Holly. Have a good time. But... I can't have a holiday. Who will make my deliveries? Nanny Plum can. No, I can't. Of course you can. Any fool can drive a truck. What? But, but I'm the king, remember? And I sentence you to a holiday. Hello, Mrs Elf. I have some terrible, terrible news. Oh, no. What is it? King Thistle. What about him? Has sentenced me to... Prison? I won't stand for it. <coughs> Revolution! Up with the elves! Down with the king! <coughs> it's worse than that. He has sentenced me to... A holiday. holiday! Oh, my goodness! I knew you'd be upset. This is wonderful! We never go on holiday. What are you talking about? We went to the seaside. That was a day trip. And we went to the moon. But you left me behind. Oh, yes. Very well. Let's go on holiday. Hooray! This is the plan. First, we take the elf plane and fly somewhere nice. Oh, lovely! We have a quick snack. Yes. Then we'll pack up and fly back home in time for me to do my evening delivery. That's not a holiday! Now listen to me, Mr Elf. You're taking us away for at least a week to somewhere hot and you're going to relax. But I'm an elf and elves don't like relaxing. Well, you just have to learn. It's going to be fun, Mr Elf. <sighs> All right. But this is an elf holiday, so no magic wands, Holly. OK, Mr Elf. And no pets. <laughs> Aw, Dad! It's my holiday. I make the rules. Sorry, Gaston. You have to stay here. Bye-bye, <coughs> Gaston. <coughs> Come on, everyone. We're going to be late for the holiday. <coughs> Please, Mr Elf, try to have fun. All right. I'll try. Ready for takeoff? Yes! Let's go! I can't relax now. What if something goes wrong? Oh, don't be silly. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, no! What is it, Dad? The engine has broken. We'll have to land. Where are we? In the middle of nowhere. It's just water down there. Prepare for a big splash. A desert island. Good. Everyone out. Wow. A real desert island. Brilliant, isn't it? It is very pretty. What a lovely beach. Stranded on a desert island. Now what do we do? Relax, darling. There are worse places to be stuck. Yes. yes. We can have a holiday here. Who'd like some lemonade? But after the holiday, how do we get home? We could send a message in a bottle. Clever Ben. That's what people on desert islands do. We write a rescue note, put the note in the bottle and then throw it out to sea. Then all we have to do is wait until someone finds it. Fantastic. And how long does that normally take? Usually about 20 years. What? 
Well, there's no rush. But what about the little kingdom? What about the great elf tree? What about my elf deliveries? Oh, stop worrying. I'm sure the elf delivery can manage without you. Fairy delivery! Ah, Nanny Plum, have you brought my potato? You always have potatoes, so I brought you an onion. What? Why? For a change. Have you got my baked beans? I've got you a pineapple. But I don't like pineapple. What about my sausages? I've got you some blue cheese. But I hate blue cheese. Oh, you're such a bunch of fuss pots. Honestly. It was better when Mr Elf did the deliveries. Yes, he knew a sausage when he saw one. Well, you'll just have to make do with me. Mr. Alf is on holiday, having fun. Stuck on a desert island. I am so bored. Do try and relax, darling. I can't. I need something to do. That's not relaxing. It is for me. I relax by being very busy. Maybe I'll explore the island. I could work out how big it is. Do you think there'll be anyone else on the island? No, I don't think so. <gasps> Footsteps. <gasps> so something does live here. Yes, a wild beast. Let's follow its tracks and find it. All right, but we must take care. The wild beast might be dangerous. The tracks lead to this bush. There's something in there. The wild beast. It's Gaston! Yeah. How did you get here? What's that? You hid in the plane, swam ashore when we weren't looking, and hid in the bushes, you say? Clever Gaston! But I thought I said no pets! Gaston could be useful, Dad! Gaston, we need food. Can you find some? <laughs> Gaston's good at sniffing out food. <gasps> A coconut! It's huge! Yes, enough food and drink to last us for weeks. Well done, Gaston. Stand clear! Hooray! You know, this holiday isn't so bad after all. I shall call this place Elf Island. Ben and Holly have been gone for ages. I do miss them. Me too. Oh, what's that? It's a message in a bottle. <gasps> it's from Ben. It says, trapped on a desert island, Dad bored, please rescue. Let's go and tell the wise old elf. Wise old elf! Wise old elf! We found a message in a bottle from Ben Elf. Oh, my goodness. Launch Elf Rescue. We have a family to save. Elf Rescue, our go. Dinner time. Who wants coconut? Ugh. We've had coconut every day for weeks. Coconut soup. Coconut pie, coconut pancakes, curried coconut. Ah, but tonight it's coconut surprise. What's the surprise? It's coconut. <sighs> coconut surprise? Delicious. Mmm, who's having a great time? I know I am. I want to go home. Me too. Yes, I do too. Home? I can't go home. I've got too much work to do here. I need to finish the hut, start on the garden, and I haven't even thought about the plumbing. No, the last thing I want to do now is go home. It's Elf Rescue! Hooray! Hello, we're here to take you home. Oh, thank you! But I haven't finished my work on Elf Island. But there's work for you back home. Nanny Plum hasn't quite got the hang of the deliveries. I wanted a potato and she brought me an onion. Onions instead of potatoes? That's crazy. I'll have to sort that out. So home we go. 
Bye-bye, Elf Island. Yes, bye-bye, Elf Island. I have to admit, that's the best holiday I've ever had. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Queen Thistle's Day Off. Da da do dum da di do da 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 da. I'm going to visit my sister today. Will you be all right on your own? Yes, Mummy. I'll be okay. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. We'll be fine. Yes, darling. We'll all be fine. You'll be fine. But what about Daisy and Poppy? They need looking after. Oh, Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mummy, when you're not here, the twins are always so naughty. <laughs> magicy, <laughs> magicy! Uh, yes, they can be quite a handful. <laughs> what a lot of fuss about two tiny children. Just let them play. But don't let them do any magic. Right. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And read them a story before they go to bed. Yes. yes. Very well. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun. Bye. 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 So what are we going to do? Mummy's the only one who can handle the twins. Don't worry. Nanny will know what to do. Um, I think I've got some important things to do in the kitchen. But Nanny... Aren't you going to help us look after the twins? I'm sure you, Ben and King Thistle can manage. Right. We just need to keep the twins busy. <laughs> I know. Let's play a game with them. It has to be something safe. What about building blocks? That can't go too wrong. OK. <laughs> Watch Daddy build a big tower. Magic me a tower and make it big. Ooh. Big, big. <gasps> Mummy said not to let the twins do magic. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It's easy to make blocks little again. Little, little. There, you see, Holly. Little, little. Ah, uh, Daisy. Poppy, give Daddy your wands. Little, little. Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny or clever. Little, 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 little. <laughs> ah, they've made us little. Don't worry, I'll magic us back to normal size. I just need my wand. My wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da da dum, do da di da, da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh, I wonder what they want. Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum! Eh? We're here! <gasps> Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum. But it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly! Baby, baby dolly. dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. <gasps> this is heavy. All together, push. Oh, 
Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Mum, it's me, Ben. Oh, Ben, you sound different. Yes, we need a bit of help. Please come quick. right -o. She's on her way. Thank goodness. I wonder what the matter can be. <laughs> Baby Plum is lots of fun. Bath me, please. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hello, Poppy. Can you tell me where the big children are? We're down here. <gasps> Daisy and Poppy put a spell on us. And we need a bit of help. Your Majesty. <laughs> we do seem to have got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yes, the twins are a little high-spirited today. Could you calm them down, please? Of course. Now, now, Daisy and Poppy. I'm sure you're not meant to fly so high. <laughs> fly so high. Fly so high. <laughs> <laughs> now, girls, put me down this instant. Poor Mrs Elf. Elves don't like flying. Looks like we need even more help. I'll call for more elves. Hello, Mr Elf speaking. Mr Elf, we've got an emergency at the little castle. Bring the elves. Bring all the elves! Right ho! <laughs> Calling all elves! Emergency at the little castle! Right ho! <laughs> if there's a problem, what do we say? Call an elf right away! And what are we? We're elves! Baby plums! It's so fun. The elves are here. What's the emergency? It's the twins. Is that you, Mrs Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr Elf. Goodness me, Mrs Elf. I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible. <laughs> oh, no. The twins have made all the elves invisible. Uh, who's going to help us now? It's very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. Good evening, Your Majesty. So, are you telling me that I've gone away for just one day and the whole kingdom couldn't look after two little children? Uh, yes. We tried our best, Mummy. But the twins really are a bit of a handful. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it, they weren't that bad. It was rather fun, really. <laughs> yes. I'm sure if you went away again, Queen Thistle, we'd manage just fine. That's good, because I'm going to visit my sister again, 
next week. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the lake. Redbeard's Rainbow. Hello, Redbeard. Ahoy there, Ben and Holly. Are you ready for a day of adventure? Yes, we are. Nanny Plum, me lovely fairy maiden. Are you coming too? Oh, if I must. Ha <laughs> ha! A fine sunny day such as this is just right for adventure. It started to rain. No adventure today, Mr. Pirate. A rainy day such as this is just right for adventure. Look, there's a rainbow. Ooh. And a rainbow is a pirate's best friend. Why is that? What do you find at the end of a rainbow? A pot of gold! And pirates love gold! Oh, pots of gold at the end of rainbows? That's just a fairy story! Well, you're a fairy, aren't you? Uh, yes, but... Come on, then! Make ready to sail! Ben, you can be cabin boy! Aye, aye, Captain! Holly can be lookout! Aye, aye, Captain! Polly Parrot can be the ship's parrot. Ah, pieces of eight! What about Gaston? Uh, he can be the ship's cat. Uh, cats don't normally bark, do they? Well, no. Gaston, can you say meow? <laughs> Sounds like a meow to me. Hop aboard, Gaston. <laughs> and Nanny Plum can be... Oh, wait a moment. What is it? You're a woman. Yes? Sailors say it's bad luck to have a woman on board. Bad luck to have a woman on board? How can you say such a thing in this day and age? You're right. It's probably a lot of old sailors' nonsense. Welcome aboard. What's my job, then? You just stand there and look pretty. Huh! Now, let's set sail for the end of the rainbow and find that pot of gold. Hurrah! 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 Yeah, hurrah. Big clouds ahead. I can't see the rainbow anymore. Just keep heading for where it was. That's thunder. A storm? Oh, dear. Can we go home now? Go home! The adventure's just beginning! Ah, he's in the Ooh. Ooh. How do you stay still, Redbeard? You just need to get your sea legs, that's all! It's a good job none of you get seasick! Oh, my tummy! Nanny Plum, you've gone green! Oh! Man overboard! Oh, sorry, I mean woman overboard! Help! Catch hold of his life belt! <laughs> oh, I fell in the sea! It was horrible! Perhaps those sailors were right! It is bad luck having a woman on board! Bad luck for the woman! I just want to get off this rocking boat and onto solid ground. Land ahoy! Straight ahead! Ah, a little island. Ah, oh, it's so nice to stand on something that isn't moving. Redbeard, do islands normally have fins? Not as a rule, no. What about eyes? Hardly ever. It's lovely being on dry land. Uh, I think you should come back now. No, I want to stay here. Pick me up on the way home. Nanny Plum, hurry! I'm not leaving this island. I wouldn't exactly call that an island. Why not? Because it's a fish and a whopping big one. It's Big Bad Furry. Ah, help me. Don't worry, you're in no danger as long as he doesn't think you're food. Like a fly or something. Ah! Nanny does look like a fly. Ah, I'm not a fly. I'm not a fly. Ah, get away. Don't let back. Don't flap your wings so much, Nanny! Fly faster, Nanny! 
Oh, Nanny, don't look so like a fly, will you? Ah! Ah! Nanny, catch hold of the hook. Oof. Now she looks a bit like a worm on a hook. Ooh, fish like eating worms. I'm not a worm. I'm not a worm. Whoops. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to use a fishing rod. Ah, 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 ah. Hang on, Nanny. I'm pulling you in. Ah! And how's me sweet darling? Not having a very good day, are you? Not having a good day? Not having a good day? A fish just tried to eat me! Yep, those sailors were definitely right about the woman on board bad luck stuff. Fog! Coming towards us! Fog? That's bad. Can we go home now? No, we've got more adventuring to do. I can see lights. It looks like another ship. Why, blow me down. That'd be the ship of my friend, Captain Squid. Ahoy there, Captain Squid. Funny, there's no one on deck. It's very quiet. Hello. Hello. Anyone home? Look, there's a meal on the table. It's still hot, but there's no one here. Meal on the table, but the boat's empty. This is certainly a mystery. Ooh. No one will never, ever know what happened to poor old Captain Squid. A mystery that will never be solved. Here's a note. Gone to bury treasure, back in five minutes. Oh, that solves it then. So, where do you think Captain Squid is? Mmm, where would you bury treasure around here? The end of the rainbow! The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow! That'll be the gold Captain Squid's burying! Come on, let's get after him! It's not getting any closer. That's the thing about rainbows. When you walk towards them, they go further away. We're not going to walk there. We're going to fly. Fly? But you're an elf. You don't have any wings. Yes, but I'm an elf with a parrot. Ah, he's a mate. Saddle up, shipmates. There's the pot of gold. And there be Captain Squid, burying treasure. Redbeard, this is my treasure, not yours. How did you find me? We just followed the rainbow. Ah, rainbows. They're a pirate's worst enemy. No, they're not. Rainbows are a pirate's best friend. Depends whether you're burying treasure or finding it. Good point. So, anyway, don't let us stop you, Captain Squid. You get back to burying your treasure. Thank you kindly, Redbeard. I was just about to bury it here. Hang on. You can't trick me that easily. No one must see where I bury my treasure. You've all got to close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. So, where did you bury it? Why, it's right over there. Ha <laughs> ha, you're trying to trick me again. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. The rainbow's moving. It's gone to the treasure. Ah, blasted rainbows. Don't worry, Captain Squid. We won't dig it up, will we, Redbeard? No, of course not. Is it home time yet? Yes, I think it is. Today's adventure is over. And I'd be honoured to take you all home on my yacht. That sounds a nice way to travel. Yacht? That's a rowing boat. Plenty of room if we all squeeze up. <laughs> Where can I sit? Wait a minute. Are you a woman? Yes. Oh, bad luck having a woman on board. It's all right. Turns out it's bad luck for the woman, not for us. Oh, in that case, welcome aboard, me lovely. Oh, no! 
It's rocking worse than Redbeard's boat. Fun, isn't it? Yes! That's what being an elf pirate is all about. Having fun. By the way, none of you get seasick, do you? <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the elf farm. Cows! This way for the elf farm tour. Now, children, who can tell me where carrots come from? Carrots come from the elf farm. Yes, Nanny Plum. Does any child know where carrots come from? Um, the elf farm? Very good. Hard hats on, please, and step this way. Now, what animal gives us eggs? A sheep. No, Strawberry, not a sheep. A chicken. Yes, Jake, that's right. <laughs> so you see, the elf farm gives us all the food we need. What about milk? Milk comes from very big animals. Elephants? No, not elephants. Milk comes from cows, but we don't have any cows on the elf farm. So where do cows live? On the big farm. Can we go to the big farm? I want to see some cows. No, no, no. The big farm is far too dangerous for elves and fairies to visit. Really wise old elf. You are making a fuss. And what would a fairy know about animals? Fairies love animals, don't we, girls? Mm. Especially fluffy little kittens. Ah. Hmm. The big farm is full of big animals and big people with big feet. I've been to the big farm and it was fine. Who wants to go? <laughs> Righty ho! Come along, children. Hooray! Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, today we'll be going to the big farm to learn about cows. <coughs> oh, I'm not sure if the ladybird should come with us. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well, as long as he behaves himself. <coughs> <laughs> Gaston likes you. Mm, charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Here we are, the big farm. Watch out for the cattle grids! What? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, remember everyone, big people have very big feet and you never know where they're going to step. With luck, we won't meet any big people. But if we do, please keep calm. No panicking. Wise old elf, is that one of the big people? Eh? Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's OK. It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Hi Lucy. Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> and we're fairies. Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us, don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. 
some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said... Bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means... Bah. Uh, ahem. <clears throat> Sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <whistles> <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <whistles> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <whistles> Wow! <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh! A cow! <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <laughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <laughs> Yeah. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. <gasps> oh dear, it's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <coughs> now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. <laughs> but what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no! It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look! It's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. Gaston's a sheep ladybird. Clever Gaston! Thanks for all your help. Here, 
take some milk with you. Oh, how kind. Oh. Hooray for Lucy. And hooray for the little fairies. And elves. Hooray! We need to the big farm, the big farm, the big farm. We need to the big farm to see some... Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Elf school. Now, Princess Holly, what's the name of this flower? That's easy, Nanny. It's a daisy. Yes, yes. An elf might call it a daisy, but a fairy princess would call it a Bellis Per Ennius. <sighs> Bellis Per Ennius. Correct. Now, what is this bluebell called? A uh, bluebell? Oh, no, no, no. A fairy princess would call it a hyacinthoids non scripta. <sighs> oh, Nanny, nature class is so boring. Why do I have to learn the proper names of all these flowers? That is the sort of thing a fairy princess needs to know. Well, maybe I don't want to be a fairy princess. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Where are you going? I'm off to elf school. Oh, what do you do at elf school? We learn how to make toys. That sounds fun. It is. Elves love making toys and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make toys. Nanny, can I go to elf school too? But you're not an elf. You're a royal fairy princess. Oh, please, Nanny Plum. Please, Nanny Plum, let Holly come. Oh, OK. Hooray! <laughs> but I'll come along too, just to make sure you don't get into any mischief. OK, but hurry, we can't be late for elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. 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 <laughs> Come on, elf school is at the top of the tree. Ooh. Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, morning, wise old elf. Ahem. <coughs> ah, Nanny Plum. Hello, Mr Old Elf. Hello. Princess Holly wants to see what elves get up to in your little school. Hmm. Very well. Holly may join the class. Oh, goody. <laughs> but no magic or flying, please. OK. Holly, sit next to me. <laughs> <clears throat> no flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. <clears throat> That's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly. But we do have very good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and elves are very good at making toys. So, today, we are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. I'm making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. Our magic one. Zing, zang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Ooh. Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <clears throat> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! 
<laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old day. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers and remember to tap gently. Sorry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, as long as there's no magic going on... I assure you, Mr Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. <laughs> Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> no, wise old elf, not me. Uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. Should do it. Hooray! Thank you, Ben. I did try to do it the elf way. Yes, Holly. I know you did. But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Holly, 
here's your wand back. Thank you. And remember, no magic until you have left the classroom. Yes, wise old elf. And that goes for you too, Nanny Palum. Yes, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts in outer space. Picnic on the moon! Woohoo! <laughs> Elf rocket to mission control! In a few minutes, we will land on the moon! Very good, Mr. Elf. You are on target to land in the Sea of Tranquility. Lovely. Once we're at the seaside, we can eat our picnic. Oh, Nanny Plum, for the last time, we are not going for a picnic. Why not? Because this is a serious elf mission to the moon. We can still have a picnic. Ready, everyone? We are about to go where no elf has gone before! Oh, fairy! Oh, yes, sorry, Holly. We are going where no elf or fairy has gone before! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Look how high I can jump! This is brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on moon. Done that. Two, plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. <laughs> plant the flag. Done. Three, go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's this sea of tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the sea of tranquility doesn't have water in it. It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> bleep, bleep. Ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you speak alien, Nanny? No. This is Mission Control. What's going on up there? We just met an alien. Amazing. This is an historic, momentous occasion. This is the biggest thing to happen ever. Do you think he'd like a cheese sandwich? Danny Plum, we do not celebrate historic meetings with a cheese sandwich. Maybe the aliens can show us where the seaside is. There is no sea on the moon, only sand. We can still build sand castles. Yes. <laughs> Bingo! No! Don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look, the aliens love building sand castles. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> Hungry. Me too. Time for the picnic. No! Magic basket, please. Ah! Magic! Nanny Palum, are you waving your magic wand around? I haven't got my wand, remember? It wasn't allowed on your silly elf mission. Ah, yes. Anyway, the magic picnic basket doesn't need a wand to work. You just ask it for what you want. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Yippee! Hooray! And now for pudding. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! What's it doing? Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Yeah! Jelly, jelly blood! blood! What's 
happening? Nanny Plum has flooded the sea of tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the moon will have to be changed. The sea of tranquility is now the sea of jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. <laughs> jelly. But the aliens <laughs> like the jelly. They're eating it all up. <laughs> they love it. I'd better make some more. Magic bath. No! Nanny Plum, I forbid you to make any more jelly on this mission. But look at the aliens' sad little faces. They're still hungry. No more magic jelly. OK. <laughs> I was looking forward to having a bit of jelly myself. Oh. Nanny, we can't eat the picnic anyway. Our space helmets are in the way. That's the last straw. No water in the sea and we can't eat food. What kind of picnic is this? It's not a picnic! OK, let's go home. Nanny Plum's right. It's time to go. Well, that's what I've been saying. Bye-bye, aliens! Bye! Bye-bye! I like aliens. Yes, they're lovely. Everybody get ready for takeoff. I will set the controls for... Oh! What is it? Fuel tank is empty. Ah, we seem to be out of fuel. What does that mean? We are stuck on the moon forever! Oh, no! What? What's wrong? I put enough fuel in the rocket to get to the moon, but I forgot about getting back. Oh, dear. That was a bit silly. Yes. Yes, it was very silly. It's all because of your little elf rules. If you'd let us bring our fairy ones, we could have used magic to get us back. But, of course, There's some... been quite enough magic for one day with that picnic basket of yours. I didn't mean to make so much magic jelly. Magic jelly? Of course! Nanny Plum, listen carefully. I want you to put the magic basket into the fuel tank. Why? There's no time for questions. Just do it. Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. <laughs> we can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. Lots, lots, lots. Oh, hang on, everyone. Please land the elf rocket in the frog pond. Right ho! Where are they? <gasps> there they are! Stand back, everyone. And Holly. <laughs> <laughs> we flew to the moon and back. 
the mission was a complete success. Thanks to the wonders of elf cleverness. Thanks to my magic jelly, you mean. What? Without my magic jelly, we'd still be on the moon. Now, now, Nanny. Let's not argue over the little details. Let's just say elf skill got us to the moon and fairy magic got us home. Hooray!